let's talk about the home buying process. Basically, there's six steps to the home buying process. Step one, first thing you're going to do is you're going to complete the loan application. A very simple app for that. I can send it to your cell phone. Uh, you can do it on your computer if you like. Uh, but you complete that app, uh, the application, you're going to provide me with income and asset documentation. So your bank statements, pay stubs, uh, W-2s, things like that. I'm going to look at and verify your income um, to see how much you're getting. And then we're going to get a pre-approval letter based on everything you've sent me. I'm going to look at your credit. I'm going to look at your income, look at your assets, just make sure you've got the down payment um, that we talked about. And then we're going to get your pre-approval letter based on that. And I'm going to send that to you and to your realtor. I'll send it to Ashley and say, hey, I've got them pre-approved up to this amount. Now, step two, you're going to review that with your realtor, review that with Ashley and discuss your purchase options. And then you're going to formulate a plan to see the homes that fit your budget and your needs. And she will, Ashley will send you a great list of properties that, that you've already discussed. And you can look at that before you even go out and start viewing homes and pick the ones you want to look at. So then that's step three, you start shopping for homes. You want to stay focused, be talking with Ashley about this. Don't get discouraged. Um, just stay at it and stay focused, stay within your budget and then keep in touch with us. So, um, and you don't want to make any, any, do any large spending. Don't apply for new credit. Um, don't get a new job. <laughs> don't do those things while you're uh, completing this process. All right. So now step four, you have found your home. Great. You found the home. Congratulations. Now, what do you do? Well, you're going to work with Ashley and you're going to talk with her about the offer. All right. So this is very important. Um, in the market, especially right now. Ashley is going to know, she's going to research that neighborhood if she already doesn't know that neighborhood. She's going to see the most recent sales that were made in that neighborhood and send you a list of uh, comparables if you need the comps or she's just going to have the comps. And based on that information that she's gathering that she already knows, she's going to make a recommendation to you on how much you need to offer for that home. OK, so it could be this asking price, but you need to offer this much and she's going to be the expert to guide you through that. If you want your offer accepted, you're going to want to listen to that and uh, be prepared to pull the trigger when that time's ready. So then you submit your offer with your earnest money deposit, and that's typically one percent. Uh, that would be in your contract and you submit that and that goes into an escrow account. And then at that point, step five, you're going to be ordering the appraisal and a property inspection. You order the appraisal through the lender. You put that on a credit card. You, it is something you pay for up front. One of the few things you pay for up front and probably your property inspection. Uh, and if you need a survey, but it's just usually depending on the home, there's usually a survey involved already. So then um, at that point, I'm going to collect all of your updated documentation because see, you might have started shopping for a home two months ago, right? I pre-qualified you two months ago and now my pay stubs, my bank statements, everything I got from you is old. OK, we have to have the most recent 30 days of documents. So I'm going to reach out at that point and say, oh, man, you're ready to make the offer. That's great. Let me get updated. Uh, pay stubs. Let me get your updated bank statements and we're good to go. And then um, once I have all that, it goes into processing and the processor reviews it, sends it to the underwriter. And then step six, you got final loan approval. Boom. Popping the champagne. We're excited. You got the approval. We're good to go. Uh, you, I will send you your closing disclosure. OK, once you sign that closing disclosure, you can close within three days of that. That closing disclosure is going to have all the pertinent information on it, the fees, everything that we've talked about all through the loan. And you're going to review that, make sure everything's accurate, sign that electronically, and then you will attend closing. Uh, the title company, your realtor, they'll schedule your closing time. You will sign the final documents and get the keys to your new home.